going on guys it's cam here and today it's easter morning and it is absolutely beautiful it is a perfect day to go flying uh so dad and i went up we got fuel and man it's just it's so freaking smooth there's you know like 20 knot wind up here which is kind of surprising but there's not a single bump it's awesome so he's heading back home but I think I'm just gonna fly around a little bit. Been playing around with this new autopilot. We just got a GFC 500 from Garmin, and it's pretty incredible. Uh, there's quite the learning curve to it. Don't get me wrong, but it's quite a bit of fun. Uh, you can like do your climb based off your airspeed, vertical speed, uh, do all your VNAV approaches, you know, uh, and it's just super accurate, super responsive, and it's awesome. It's even got a safety feature I'm gonna try out. Auto level, it's got overspeed, underspeed protection, and stuff like that. So, I might play around with that a little bit today, and just have fun, enjoy the beautiful weather, because it really is incredible out here. All right, well, I am up here uh, north of the airport. Been a pretty safe place. I've been looking around. There's no traffic. I've got fields around here. So I think I'm going to practice some unusual attitudes and try out this level function and kind of see what that does. So I'm going to do a right bank, probably do some descending, and then I'm going to push this level button. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. So here we go. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's a lot of fun. I gotta try that again. I'm gonna do a left climb, left turning climb, get my airspeed low, and then let's see what it does. Yeah, that was that was pretty uneventful because all it had to do was. Alrighty, I want to try this again. This is so freaking cool. All right, right bank descending again. Get this airspeed up. Here we go, and bam. Dang, pulling some G's on that one. That's kind of sweet. And then after you push the button, it just puts it level flight following your current heading. And you're good. So if, you know, if a VFR pilot like myself got an IMC and didn't know what I was doing, I just push that and I'm good. All right, so now I think I'm going to turn to the north again. And I want to try this overspeed, underspeed protection. And I'll be on it in case it doesn't work and it tries to stall the plane. I'm, from the video I watched, you know, I'm sitting at 16 inches of manifold pressure right now. And I'm going to try to do like a 2,000 foot per minute climb in the autopilot, which without adding power, well, even with adding power, it'll stall. Theoretically, this autopilot will give me an underspeed protection and it won't let the aircraft stall. I'm going to set it to climb the like, 4,500 feet, and I want to, we'll just go on this current heading, and then I want vertical speed at like, yeah, 2,000 feet per minute. I want to see what this thing does. I'm ready to break it if it does start stalling it. Yeah. So I'm getting an airspeed warning, and it's actually starting to pitch it down, so it will not stall the plane. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear that warning or not. <laughs> That's awesome. So now it just tries to start maximizing my climb out at VX. I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. Ooh, negative G. Uh, yeah, that's really sweet. I don't want to do the overspeed protection because that can, I don't know, be kind of more dangerous. But yeah, this is pretty sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and start descending. I might hit this auto level button again. Anyways, this GFC 500 is awesome. Uh, it's got, well, I mentioned earlier, auto trim. Uh, it's it's amazing. You, when you know when you're on a cross country, you don't have to constantly look for that light to trim it up or down. It just does it. And it's I'm super spoiled now. I'm loving it. Uh, so it's and it's super responsive. You hit a bump and those yokes are climbing to correct it, and it's just man, it blows that 30 year old autopilot that we used to have out of the water. Uh, so I've definitely got a learning curve. It's really well integrated with the G5 and the GTN 650. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely going to take a learning curve, but it'll be cool. And uh, apparently it does something else with the approaches, uh, which I might try to shoot an approach going back into Bolivar just to see what happens. 
I don't really know what I'm doing on stuff like that, but hey, it can be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, it's super cool. We have another uh, GTN 650 Xi, so it's their faster processor. It's got a better resolution screen. And I'm telling you, I didn't think it'd be that much of a difference between the old 650, but I'm impressed. It's it's a rock star for sure. So we now have two 650s. So right now, I have, I'll have nav on top, and then I'll have traffic on the bottom. So that way, I don't have to flip between your, your nav and your traffic. And that's freaking awesome. Uh, I love that having those two. We had a 430 and then the card went bad. I was just never good with the 430. I was always better with the touch screen. You know, I'm used to the Garmin Pilot app on my iPad and the 650 is just so similar. Um, and Dad also said that having the Garmin Pilot app on his iPad helped him with the integration into the G3X and the Scout. So I think it's these touch screen, I mean, GPSs aren't going anywhere, so it's super cool to see how Garmin is innovating in this technology, and I love it. It's super cool. All right, I'm gonna try to get this thing to fly an approach for me. Uh, I've got the RNAV 18 loaded with the Osoy transition, uh, so I'll, I will intercept this point. Maybe approach. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Theoretically, it should be turning right now. Okay, we're turning left to 137, doing a beautiful standard rate turn. All right, so we're now heading towards the airport. I just don't know if we descend or not. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure what's going on. That's not even on the map. I'm headed in the direction of the airport. We're doing something right, and I've got control on the wing leveler, so. Just gonna roll with it, you know? Yeah. Just gonna roll with it. Oh, something's beeping. Oh, it's telling me to go to. Is it going to 2800? I don't know what that beep meant. We're staying at 3000. I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't start descending by chike. I'm gonna start pushing buttons until we start going down. That's about. Oh, let's head back out. Oh, I've got going right now. We're supposed to be descending. Okay, we're starting a descent. Not, not good enough though. I need, I need more of a descent. We're not doing anything correctly right now. I'm two and a half miles from the field and I'm like 1,800 feet too high. All right, I'm just gonna hand fly this. So it's not going as planned. I need more air. Fine, whatever. Maybe I do need a CFI. I'm going to watch a video. I'm going to come back and do it again. And it's going to be successful. Stop beeping at me. This thing is... All right. Unsuccessful approach. Oh, my goodness. What, where are these bumps coming from? Anyways, after an unsuccessful approach, I'm just going to turn the left downward. Oh yeah, dang, that was a perfect opportunity for a slip. That brought me down just like, I don't know, the 100 feet I needed. A little bit of crosswind here. Oh, that was not good. All right, guys, I think this is a good spot to leave off. Um, it certainly was a lot of fun, and I can't think of any other way I'd rather spend my Easter morning. So glad I got to learn some stuff about this autopilot and glad that I learned that I need to learn more. So I'll definitely be in the books watching videos and stuff about that, and I'm sure I'll bring you guys along in my next slides. So until then, take it easy and stay safe.